Let's get to it, Guardian. All right, YouTube, what's going on? Mesa fail, Table Sean, something Sean, back at it with some Destiny. All right, guys, let's talk about some exotics. Um, there's seven exotics that have not yet been released or no one has gotten them yet. And I'm anticipating that when we get our February update, these might unlock. So again, like I mentioned last week's video, save those exotic engrams because it's not like we're going from an expansion to an expansion. This is going to be probably an update. And if they unlock these exotics, um, yeah, those old engrams will work. Uh, when Sparrow Racing launched, a bunch of my old exotic engrams all gave me new stuff. I got a Mita Multi-Tool 310, I got RM Materium 310, I even got the Tarantula, the Hunter Chess Piece 310. So we're gonna go through seven exotic armor pieces that have not been found, and uh, I got this from, did a little homework, did a little research, and I found a post from a Chippy569, okay, which I'm going to uh, link in the description, and then that led me to a website, uh, guardian.gg, to get the information on all this, and I also checked a few other websites, and they all had the same exact stuff. So we're just gonna talk about the main perks of these new exotics, and uh, I wanna kinda gather your thoughts and opinions, give you my thoughts and opinions on them. Uh, gameplay in the background is obviously not me. Figured I'd mix it up a little bit. My boy Oa, when we did our Crucible talk about the current meta and everything, uh, he just gave me a shitload of footage, so I said, you know what, let me throw in some footage here. He's just a beast, when it he's your typical run and gun, shotgun, pulse rifle asshole that people don't like, okay? He doesn't snipe, he doesn't use a less word, he doesn't blink around, he uses all hunters, gunslingers, and that's his shtick or whatever. So enjoy the gameplay in the background while we go through these. And in before you see, these have been covered already. I don't know. I did a quick video for New Exotics 2016. I did not see anything. And all of these are kind of news to me. Uh, more console Allen when he talked about the dawning event last week. Uh, he did mention all of these exotics, but not exactly what they did. So that got me curious because... Well, what? We, we all love new exotics, right? And I feel like, in my humble opinion, the year one exotics in terms of an armor perspective, um, we're pretty much better than anything we've gotten in year two. But some of these are pretty interesting, so let's just jump into it. Stop babbling, Sean. So the first one is for the Warlock, and that's the Astro Sight Verse, okay? And the key perk on this thing is called Teleportation. So it's going to reduce the blink cooldown and increase the travel distance. Now, didn't they nerf Blink a while ago? I don't know. I'm all for this because, you know me, guys, when it comes to PvP, the Void Walker is pretty much my favorite uh, subclass for the Warlock. I know a lot of people like to use Sun Singers. They are definitely really unstoppable. And in this last Iron Banana, I fell in love with the Stormcaller with Transcendence because that Storm Trance will last forever. But typically, I love to Blink around and use my Nova Bombs. Okay, next up for the Borlock is the Ophidian Aspect, and the key perk in it is called Viper Totomic, Totomek, something like that. You know, I butcher every name. Uh, improved energy drain and weapons ready and reload very quickly. When they say improved energy drain, what do they mean improved? Does that mean more powerful, more stronger, more damage? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. And weapons ready and reload very quickly. Does that mean all weapons? Are, like, can you swap weapons really quickly? And is everything going to reload really quickly? I, I definitely could see that being useful. Right now, my Warlock, I really don't use any exotic gloves. I don't even use nothing manacles yet. I never got used to those damn things. I'm always using some sort of exotic helmet or, of course, void fang vestments or a fart a praxic fire. All right, next one, which I think is definitely going to be abused, and that's the Shinobu's Vow for the Hunter. And the key perk is called New Tricks. Improve Skip Grenade, and you gain an additional Skip Grenade charge. Now, what do they mean improve? That mean more tracking on that damn thing? Uh, I definitely see a lot of people rocking this one. Not particularly me, because I like using the Flux Grenade. <laughs> Flux Grenade, because I don't know. something about sticking someone and getting that post-mortem, because they killed me with that last word. I don't know. It brings joy to me. But um, right now, in my opinion, that, I mean, that's what I see the most of in a lot of the streams and the uh, biggest beasts out there for PvP are the Blink Blade Dancers using Thousand Yard Stare, a last word, and Skip Grenades. So now they're going to give them two Skip Grenades and improve them, maybe with a little better tracking. I don't know. Definitely see a lot of people using them. You, you Blade Dancers, let me know what you like there in the comment section. All right, next up we got for the Titans, we got the Thagomizers, and the key perk is going to be one-two punch. Unlocks the Striker subclass node Amplify for free, and Amplify is when you get kills with your Storm Fist. It's going to reduce the cooldown of your Fist of Panic. Uh, also, you gain an additional melee charge. I don't see this be uh, being particularly useful because uh, I still feel like Titans have those baby arms. Uh, especially in PvP, I almost never get melee kills. Uh, when you do melee someone in PvP, you will just beat him, punch him over the head like a baby seal. But um, I don't know. I don't. I don't really think Titans will be using, or at least I won't be for my Titan. Then we got the Dune Marchers, which looks like it's the Titan versions of uh, Radiant Dance Machines. Dance, dance Machines. Uh, speed Demon is the key perk. So increase sprint speed, increase movement speed while aiming your weapon, and tighter turn radius while sprinting. So that pretty much, I could see that definitely being useful for Titans who are good in PvP. I, uh, combine that with Mida Multi-Tool Bag. I, 
That's going to be a great combination for Titans. Then we got some more exotic boots for the Hunter, the Frost EE5. So it says rapid cooldowns to keep perk. Uh, we got tighter turn radius while sprinting, increased grenade and melee regeneration while sprinting. That's an interesting combination because it feels a little bit like me. Well, it feels like it would be a little bit like radiant dance machines. But then also the more you sprint around, you get your grenades and melees back really quick. And that, that would be used, I guess, with all of the Hunter subclasses. I'm very interested in seeing these things. So the last one is going to be for the Warlock, and it's called Transverse of Steps, Exotic Boots for the Warlock. Uh, the key perk is Strange Angles. Gain faster movement speed while crouching. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, picking up ammo automatically reloads the weapon matching that ammo type. Uh, guys, I'm definitely going to want to try these out if they ever come out. Because uh, think about it. Okay, I am a panic reloader. I don't know about you guys. Whether it's a PvE or PvP, I'm constantly reloading. And Warlocks, of course, my main. That's my favorite class. I definitely want to try these out if, well, when they ever come out. So that's pretty much it, guys. You know, these have been in the armory for a long time. But you know me, I live under a rock, and I don't get to watch a whole lot of other YouTube videos. But uh, I'm really hoping that these get released with the next update, kind of like that they did with the last update with releasing all those year ones into year two exotics. So anyway, let me know what you guys think of all this stuff. Let me know what your well, particular favorite that you'd be gunning for if these do get released with the next update. So that's it for me, guys. Drop a like on this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Zip Twitter at Mason Sean. Check out my stream, usually on YouTube. And that's it. I am out of here like Vladimir. Yeah.